1971, the historic liberation of Bangladesh was no less a milestone for India. While the actual war stretched just for a few days between the 3rd of December to the 16th of December 1971, the barbarism unleashed by Pakistan army and administrators on its eastern province, which later separated and became Bangladesh, started way back. Millions of people from the erstwhile East Pakistan fled the country to save their lives and sought refuge in India. Border Security Force A nascent force at that time, raised on the 1st of December 1965, was tasked by India to exceed its mandate of being the first line of defence at the border and provide all-round succour to the refugees. From providing treatment, medicines, food, shelter, to giving arms training, BSF left no stone unturned. Bravery was in the air, determination and eagerness to help was in the hearts. India and Bangladesh can both boast of many such brave hearts who have first-hand experiences of that golden period of history. Samir Mitra Retired BSF DIG and a 1971 war veteran proudly recollects how he was pushed into action within years of joining the force. person like me who joined the force as the first batch officer had to undergo training and we could be released from the training in after one year of our training. So December 66 onward so practically so far I am concerned when I was a toddler not in terms of the age but in terms of my service length I, I got the opportunity to engage myself at you know during a war full-fledged war with Pakistan in Eastern theater Apart from giving every sort of humanitarian service, BSF also acceded to the requests of the Liberation War leaders to give training to lakhs of Bangladeshi youth who wanted to fight for their motherland but were largely untrained and unprepared for the task. And initially, they were, you know, they were never used to this kind of thing, these Bangladeshi uh, young boys. Their morale was very high, they were dedicated, determined, energized, everything. But until unless you are trained properly, uh, you, you have that initial fear and scare. But gradually they got, and uh, some of the orders that I personally gave, and they executed, it is something uh, I, feel, I feel so proud that I had a bunch of this kind of group from Bangladeshi, uh, young people, those who never hesitated to carry out those kind of actions that I told them. The continued attacks by Pakistan and eruption of war led to many casualties in India. BSF and the Indian Army, as also many common citizens of India, lost their lives for the cause of Bangladesh's liberation. Selflessly, our immortal martyrs sacrificed their rather supreme, they offered their supreme sacrifice for liberation of Bangladesh. We had no interest whatsoever but our primary concern was to liberate Bangladesh from the shackle of Pakistanis because they are not treating them as human beings. So we knew that we will have to have suffer casualties. You see this, this is a Pakistani rifle grenade splinter still I am carrying from 71 onward. This joint history and saga of sacrifice is the base of friendship between India and Bangladesh, which the present generation of both countries have a responsibility to cement further. We are not competitors. We are not competing with each other because we love each other. And till date, we always address, whenever we meet, our friendly country, our friendly nation, Bangladesh, with a lot of affection, respect and love.